Families have a lot going on. Let Ollie help manage the mental load with new cognitive health supplements for everyone four and up, like delicious Lolly Focus Pops or Lolly Mellow Pops for kids. And for parents, try three new Brainy Chews to help you focus, chill out, or get energized. Find these cognitive health buddies for the whole fam at ollie.com. That's O L L Y.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Welcome back, everybody. Happy Monday. It's May 20th, 2024. Born on this date in 1940, soul singer, songwriter Shorty Long of Birmingham. He died in a boating accident in 1969. Today is National Quiche Lorraine Day. Nope. Let's talk about the UAW vote, hunting tourism, third graders, and barbecue. I'm Mike Morgan, and we're down in Alabama. Workers at the Mercedes-Benz plant in Vance, Alabama, along with the electric battery plant in Woodstock, voted last week against joining the United Auto Workers Union, according to AL.com reports. Now, it was not a particularly close election either, with the no vote carrying nearly 600 more workers than the yes vote. That means that despite the union's announcement that a supermajority of workers at the Vance plant had signed union authorization cards, UAW officials said its threshold for a vote was 70%, only about 44%, voted to join the union. Now, if you've been paying attention for the past 24 years, you know that questioning or even contesting elections is now the American way. Now, that remains to be seen whether that'll happen in this case, although the National Labor Relations Board is investigating reports of union busting at the Mercedes plant. Now, if those reports are found valid and they're sustained at hearings, we could see another election. UAW President Sean Fain, who's made bold statements in recent months regarding union growth in the South, said the fight would continue. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey celebrated the union's defeat. Quote, Alabama is not Michigan, and we are not the sweet home to the UAW. When you hear the word tourism, it's likely you think of beaches and theme parks or maybe mountain cabins and pancake shops. But Alabama is seeing growth of a different kind of tourism, reports AL.com's John Sharp, and it's happening in part of the state that can use a boost. Hunting and fishing tourism is growing in the rural Black Belt part of the state. According to Economics Research Services out of Montgomery, hunting and fishing has $1.7 billion of economic impact in the 23 counties of the Black Belt. Now, that's a big driver in the overall growth of tourism in the region, which supports 45,500 jobs. The overall tourism economic impact in the Black Belt in 2023 was $3.8 billion, showing a growth rate 9% above what had been projected. 4,800 third graders in Alabama are in danger of being held back over their reading scores reports AL.com's Trisha Powell Crane. Now, that represents 9% of the state's third graders, but it's down from 17% that were breeding below grade level a year ago. And many of the students facing potential retention are likely to hit their benchmarks by the end of the school year or through a summer reading camp. Hey, and while we're talking school stuff, y'all make sure to catch tomorrow's show. We're going to speak with the Alabama Education Lab's Ruth Servin-Smith, about how the latest legislative session might impact what you students, parents, and teachers are liable to see when school starts back in the fall. Well, Big Bob Gibson's Barbecue of Decatur, Alabama has won another prize in the World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest in Memphis, reports AL.com Sarah White's Coda Check. Big Bob Gibson's won the pork shoulder portion of the competition which is a big one because to a lot of people, pulled pork is the definition of barbecue. The World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest dates back to the 1970s and has categories for ribs, shoulder, and whole hog, and that's just for the pork. Big Bob Gibson's added to its previous 15 championships that span pork, ribs, brisket, and chicken. The Shed Barbecue and Blues joint of Ocean Springs, Mississippi, was named Grand Champion, and won the whole hog division. Thank y'all so much for listening. See, they didn't even have a Keish Lorraine division.
We're going to be back here again tomorrow. Until then, y'all come on by and see what we're doing on the internet at AL.com.